In today's video, I've got for you a really simple tip to vary your trajectory when you're pitching. Make sure you check out this video. Over the ridge, hopefully. That was a perfect example of a low one, actually going to finish really... John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. You join me out on my short game area and today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is actually going to be a short game video and we're going to be talking about varying your flight, your high to low pitch. It's great to have both options in there. Now you could absolutely quite easily, if you want to hit the high one, use more loft. If you want to hit a low one, use a lower lofted club, use a, a pitching wedge or something instead. So if we're talking about going towards that back pin, I could thought, talk about lower loft and chase that ball onto the green. But what I want to discuss here is actually keeping the same club so we can still generate that spin. So the low one we're talking about low, but checking up. So we're going to flight it in low. It's going to land this side of the ridge. It's going to roll up the ridge and stop. The high one is going to fly the ridge. So I've got a ridge here through the middle of the green. We need both options to be a good player. And I'm going to give you a real simple solution or thought process to hit both of those. Now, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. If you hit the little bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. And the info for my social media as well, just coming along the bottom of the screen. So I've got here a 58 degree towards that back pin. Now I haven't measured it actually, but towards that back pin, I've got about 25 to 30 yards. So I'm going to try and hit for you very quickly, the high and low one. And then we're going to discuss the differences I felt because um, I'm really going to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to hit the low one first of all. I'm going to try and land it short of the ridge, check it up so it runs and just releases that last little bit. And then I'm going to hit you the higher one that's going to fly and stop over the ridge, hopefully. That was a perfect example of a low one, actually going to finish really good there. Landed this side of the ridge, checked up, released over that ridge, and then ended up there to a couple of foot. Then the high one, I'm going to struggle to beat that. We've got to fly the ridge and try and stop it. Now, what differences are you noticing here? Go just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Actually, just rolled off, the, rolled off the edge of the green, but you'll have seen there a very different trajectory. That one flew the ridge, that one stopped. Now, I may have varied my ball position slightly. So when I'm hitting the lower one, I might have moved that ball just a touch further back and a little bit more forwards when I want to hit the high one. But the main difference you'll have noticed there was where I finished with the golf club, yet they finished in the same distance. They flew different distances. So on the low one, all I was trying to think was low finish. On the high one, all I was trying to think was high finish. So on the high one, I've really got to try and get the club to catch up with my hands. Now for that club to catch up with my hands, effectively, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to slow my hands, speed the club up. I'm almost getting that feeling of throwing the club. So to try and hit the high one, I'm going to feel like I get that club moving a little bit quicker, creates a little bit more speed, creates a little bit more height. Effectively at impact, I'm not returning with my hands as far forwards, I'm returning with more loft on there. On the low one, when I'm trying to hit that low one, I'm trying to finish lower. I'm trying to keep my handle of the golf club, leading the golf club, effectively de-lofting it a little bit there. But of course, we're still starting with 58 degrees rather than me going into pitching wedges and nine irons. So I'm still going to create just that little bit more spin than I would do by going down in loft. So that low one, I could move the ball just a touch further back in the stance. You're not quite from the uh, downline position. I'm aiming slightly to a right hand pin here. But the ball position is middle ish of uh, my stance here. But I'm trying to get that finish position lower. My hands leading the golf club. That's another good one to chase, to release up that slope. <coughs> the high one, as I said, I'm trying to get that feeling of throwing the club so the club finishes higher. So you can just focus on low finish for low shot, high finish for high shot, a little bit of practice time, and it can be that simple. So I may have moved that ball just forwards of center, but the main thing I'm going to get for the high one is that feeling of a higher finish position by throwing the club. So you can see a very different finish position here, the club more vertical, lots more height, definitely use that loft 
and that bounce of the golf club. They're going to work well from different lies as well. So if we've got a good but soft lush lie, we really want to use the loft, we want to use the bounce, we want to get that higher finish position. If we've got a harder, tighter lie, a linksy style turf or, or, or compact ground where, you know, muddy lie and everybody's taking their trolley across it and we really want to make sure we get the ball first, we're going to try and drive our hands just a little bit more forwards rather than using the bounce of the golf club. So not only can it vary the trajectory, but it actually can vary depending on what surface we're playing from, which is the better option for you. But keep that simple thought in mind. Higher shot, higher finish position, lower shot, lower finish position, effectively delivering the club with different amount of shaft lean in there to vary our trajectory, but as I said, also for different lies. If that video has helped, as I mentioned in the start, hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and I'll see you guys next time.